Hey guys, welcome back to The X-Files. This is episode 15 of season one. This episode is called Lazarus. Now, I feel that is something I should know, but I am ashamed to admit it, I don't. Off the top of my head, Lazarus is someone that rose from the dead. You know, I'm gonna have to Google that. Okay, very pleased to report that yes, that is correct. It's fascinating how you retain these little bits and pieces of information in your mind. It's lodged itself up there somewhere and I'm actually going into this pretty pleased that I've retained some information. So let's get started and watch this episode. Ooh, we're at the bank. Oh, we're actually starting Relax, with Scully. This has got to be something a bit more than just a simple bank robbery. Whenever I look up at the stars, I know you're going to be looking up at the same one. Even from behind bars? The same ones, baby. That's romantic, I guess, isn't it? Ooh, what's his tattoo? Lula? Look it up, Trimble! Get down on the floor! 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 Ooh, she is so brave. My gosh. Drop the gun, FBI. He's gonna shoot. He still he'll still shoot. Yep. I knew it. Scully probably ends up killing him, yes. Mm -hmm. Any more safety in your stack? Turn it down. Interesting. You lost him. Let him go. I'm a doctor. Go up to 400 or I'll do it myself. Clear. And Give him another amp of that and go up to 400 again. It's affecting the guy in the next room, the bank robber. Clear. What on again. earth? Clear. Wow, that is so weird. That is so weird. Don't ask me how, but he's <gasps> Oh no! I think the bank robber has gone into Jack, the bad guy. Okay, that little intro piece was so different because they normally start with someone other than Mulder and Scully. So that was really, really unusual, and I loved that for something different. My thoughts from the beginning are that the bank robber has gone into Jack in some way. But then, of course, that sort of is Scully's fault because she did persist with it. This one is looking to be pretty interesting. Well, there he is. Hello. Oh, boy. I don't think that this is the same Jack that Scully knows at all. Yeah, he's the he's the bank robber guy because he's looking at himself. He doesn't recognize his own face. And now he's going looking for his proper body in the morgue, I think. He's looking for himself. Yeah, that's him. Oh, he wants his... Oh, wow, his wedding ring. That's beautiful. Don't cut off the finger. Oh, my God, I cannot. No. Oh, no, I, I won't be watching this. I won't be able to handle it. Please don't show anything. Oh my god, this is awful. That is so, so gross. I'm thankful they didn't show it. Three fingers under Prey's left hand were severed by surgical shears. We lifted prints. They're Willis's. Wow. You said he was chasing this guy for almost a year? Yeah, he lived the case. It was all your Am I boring you? <laughs> they were married. Yeah, last May in Atlantic City. So what? So I don't think this was a simple necrophiliac mutilation. Willis sliced and diced those fingers to get at the wedding ring. Mulder. Scully will not have a bar of this. She will not believe what you're about to think or suggest. No way. She won't recognize him. This is crazy. Unless he can sort of prove that he's in this body by saying things only they would know. Oh my gosh, the tattoo is coming back? No way. This means that for a period of minutes, both men were technically dead. Technically, but we resuscitated Willis. You resuscitated his body. Mulder. She weren't. Two men died no. in that crash room, Scully. Mm -mm -mm -mm. One man came back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The question is, 
Which one? She will never go for that, ever. So one day, he strangled his wife with an extension cord. That doctor looks thrilled about it. It's <laughs> a nice story. <laughs> The stress of the case, the trauma of being shot, Jack's personality. Yeah. How well do you know him? We dated for almost a year. Oh. He was my instructor at the academy. The plot thickens. <laughs> it does. We even had the same birthday. Oh. We used to celebrate in some dive in Stafford that had a slanted pool table. I believe it's a long way from saying Jack had a near-death experience to saying his body's been inhabited by Warren Dupree. Mm. A long way. Mm. Yep, yeah, she will never believe that. What the hell? Where is she? Where's who? Your sister. <laughs> uh, Lula? sister. Look, I don't know. Look, I don't... Looks like they're gonna find her before you do, pal. Is that what you think? You sold us out to the FBI. I don't think he would. That's his sister. Free. Bang. Except the rats found him first. Oh. The victim's name was Thomas Phillips. That's Lulu's brother. Get out of my way. Regulation state to gain <gasps> access to a crime scene. You gotta show me some. Oh ideas. my god. Looks like you were right. What? Excuse me. What? Yeah. No Is there a problem way. here? No, sir, this is Agent Jack Willis. He's with the violent crime section of the Washington Bureau. Oh. Come on. Stop this is crazy. Doing my job, miss. I wonder if Jack's in there Jack. somewhere. Good to see you back among the living. It's good to be back. What do we got here? Like, will he fight through TV, or? I don't know. And, bleak, and it's not the victims. <laughs> He's so sus. He knows. He knows. Hang on. He's shooting that left-handed. That's fancy shooting. That's left-handed. Yeah, well, I got to get recertified before they give me my weapon back. Left-handed. Left-handed. Oh, and he should know if it's Scully's birthday because then it know. would be his birthday. Happy birthday, Scully. <laughs> it's not my birthday. <laughs> You're two months early. It's from Willis. I thought you two had the same birthday. Can you at least accept the possibility that during his near-death experience, some kind of psychic transference occurred? Nope. Can you accept the possibility that this isn't an X-file? Nope. <laughs> this is our backup. You said you called them, right? Oh. Yeah, he should have been here 10 minutes ago. She may be running out of fire escape. He didn't call back up. I'm gonna call in again. That's her. <laughs> here we go. He'll have to show the tattoo. He'll have to prove who he is, who he really is. Oh, what? Oh, okay, there we go. Come on, Scully, get her. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Hands behind your back. She's all yours, Jack. Yeah. Like a dog on a leash. I already cuffed her. If you use Scully, put him on. What's going on, Jack? Put him on, or I'll blow you in half. Jack. Shut up! Put him on! I wonder if she's gonna believe Mulder now. Baby, you ain't gonna believe where I've been. <laughs> Maybe Mulder was right. <laughs> But I don't blame her for not believing. It's so sure, far-fetched. Oh, she's been beat on, up. Your birthday is April 7th. Your favorite color is red. Come on, it's just too weird. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so hard to take you in. It's really you. It won't make any difference in the dark. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be you, super strange. Hey, I don't think I would want to do that. You'd get used to it, I guess, after a while, but it would just be like being with a stranger. This isn't one of your X file theories, It doesn't matter what I think. We're still after the same thing. He's just a walking joke of the FBI. Where's Scully? You're the FBI. You figure it out. Let me talk to her. 
Mulder. Dana, are you okay? Don't. Dana. Okay. That's it. Goodbye. Wow, that's so scary. That's terrifying. You taught me how to fish through the ice. It was your parents' cabin. Jack, try to remember. She's trying to bring in we drove up in Jack's a personality and his memories and Come confuse on, this guy. Yeah, here he goes. He's getting those little visions. Don't think I didn't see what you did. How much of that have you had? <gasps> What's it to you? Jack Willis is diabetic. Oh my gosh. Which means that you're diabetic. Too much sugar in the system could lead to hypoglycemia. Maybe that's why your stomach's hurting so bad. You need insulin. So interesting. Their bodies have the same problems. 200 units of NPH insulin were taken along with a box of syringes. Hold on. Lucky she's a doctor. Without this medicine, he dies. Yeah, so you said. What the hell are you doing? I need that medicine. What? You still haven't figured it out, have you? It wasn't my brother who set you up. <gasps> it was her. What? Why would she do that? Yeah, me. I got the money and I got rid of wow. you. Wow. At least I thought I did. Oh <laughs> yeah, he's come back. <laughs> that sucks. This is it. Oh, they found they found her. Mulder, we don't deal unless we know Scully's alive. Oh, she's alive. You lay one hand on Scully and so help me God. If I were you, I'd stop talking and start passing around the collection hat. She wants money. Because if you ever want to see Scully again, it's going to cost you a million dollars. They don't negotiate with tomorrow. kidnappers, though. Now, for those of you who remember ninth grade math, that gives us an area of just over three square miles to cover. Roughly a thousand households. It's not too bad. With a hundred law enforcement officials at our disposal, at about 30 households per man per hour, we should be able to canvas the entire area in about three hours. Awesome. This one's important to me, so um, let's do it right. Was there snow? <gasps> yes, Jack. There was lots of snow. I remember red stove. Yeah, that's right. There was a there was a wood burning stove right in the middle of the room. I had to wrap you in a blanket <laughs> when the wood ran out. I feel sorry for him. Jack, keep talking. Come on. Get out of one now. Oh, now you're dead. Oh my gosh. Come here to execute every one of you. No. No. That's so, so ah, sad. Shut up and do it. I wonder if I can interest you in the word of the Lord. Leather bound and black or red. Your choice. <laughs> Go away. He's very, um. This is one for oh, excited. It's actually. <laughs> That's actually really cool. He's dead. <gasps> oh. It's all on you now. It's not a way to live, though, if he is wow. two people. Guess it's over. Whoever you are. Awful lady. Terrible. Disgusting. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Jack, no way. Up. I love you. <laughs> I love you, baby. Yeah, sure. No. Jack, put the gun down. I think he's going to kill her. Light that I talked about. It's beautiful. There's nothing to be afraid of. No! He'll kill himself, I think. Or if he's not already dead. Scully, are you okay? Jack! It's gone. It's for the best, honestly. Oh, wow. Wow. Fugitive Lula Phillips died yesterday in a shootout with federal agents, which also resulted in the death of Special Agent Jack Willis, killed in the line of duty. Yeah. What am I supposed to tell myself? Good night. It's not working. It stopped. At 
the exact time that Jack went into cardiac arrest at the hospital. What does that mean? It means... It means whatever you want it to mean. Yeah. Good night. That does indeed mean whatever she wants it to mean. And I actually really love that Mulder didn't persist with his explanation. He's not persisting with the truth and what actually happened because he knows that Scully doesn't believe that what is the truth essentially but it's up to her whether or not she will eventually believe that or will she just keep refusing to believe that I really love that Mulder doesn't keep pushing that side to her I find that very respectful of her beliefs and her feelings and also coping with the loss of her friend and ex-partner lover here as well in this episode. He truly cared for her. Mulder truly cared for her in that last moment. Mulder, it's obvious that he truly cares for Scully by this point. I don't know how long they have been working together at this stage, but I don't want to be silly and say that he's developing feelings for her in a romantic sense, but I think that he definitely cares for her as his partner. And it's very clear to see that he, that it's true. He does care for her in that way as a very deep friendship. Let's just say friends right now, because nothing else has occurred just yet. Uh, found this just such a great episode, a really, really good little development of the two characters, Mulder and Scully, and learning more about Scully's past too, in that it is possible for her to have a romantic relationship with someone else in the same field. So that leaves a little bit of a door open for Mulder there. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I thought it was fantastic. I really enjoyed this one. Looking forward to the next. You guys have a great day and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.